and my brothers and sisters in Christ, and I wanted to make this video to talk about a topic I'm very familiar with. Um, I wanted to talk about enemies to the Christian. So from what I realized with conversing with Christians, with conversing with Muslims, with conversing with atheists, I realized that we as Christians, we one of the biggest persecutions we face in that we can't really share our faith with, with when we're sharing our faith with someone, one of the biggest upsets we face is when there is a former Christian involved. By former Christian, I mean somebody that was born into a Christian household. They were Christian, but they chose to turn atheist. Like, I've realized so many former Christians are a hindrance to our faith as Christians. I mean, I'm one of them, so I understand. But when now, as a Christian, I try to when I try to share my faith in. And talk about the rapture and stuff. The biggest opposition I get is from former Christians who are now atheists, Buddhists, and like either atheist or some other spiritual thing. Not one of the main religions like um, Judaism and Islam. Like I can have a a normal com in person. I mean, not on YouTube in the comment section. Not like that. Like. In person, I can have a normal conversation with a Muslim and share my faith. But when it comes to a former Christian, I mean, they they won't even let you speak. They, it's it's crazy, it's crazy. It's I'm not sure. I mean, other religions towards Christians, they're if you if you like if you're um, talking with someone like there's from another religion and a thing toward Christian, they'll say, oh, I respect your opinions. But I don't believe in the Christian faith. I'm gonna stick to my religion. But, but the former Christians I talk to, they don't say I respect your opinions. They, they attack you. They make you out to be some crazy, delusional person, which is not true. And, and it like it gets me at point where, I'm like. I don't know what else to say. That like that's that's the biggest opposition as a Christian I faced was from former Christians who are no longer Christian. The biggest opposite opposition I faced was not from Muslims. Was not from um, Jews who deny uh, thing Jesus's deity. It's the biggest I opposition I've ever faced in my life was from former Christian, and it, and it's sad. It's sad because you know. You're trying to share your faith with these people and you're trying to save them, but... And then you feel bad for them knowing how well they had it. They were born into a Christian household. All they had to do was accept Christ and become a born-again Christian. And they were pretty much heaven. Heaven was pretty much guaranteed for them, but they threw it all away. And now they're oppressing us because the former Christians, the level they're oppressing us, we can't share our faith with. With a Muslim, you you talk to you try to um, dialogue with a let's say you're at a university campus you t you try to um, d dialogue with a Muslim and a former Christian comes in instead of backing you up they'll they'll leave you hanging they'll they'll wow, they they won't they won't even reach out a hand they'll attack you the Muslim won't attack you the Muslim will say oh I don't believe in that. From my experience, but the former Christian will attack you, and this is sad. This is what I wanted to talk about because I'm sure a lot of you have been going through the same thing concerning not Muslims, not Hindus, not anything else, but concerning former Christians because you probably have faced severe opposition from former Christians that it wasn't a nice experience and it just made you mad or what happened. It just got you to a boiling point so that's what i wanted to talk about thanks for listening and also in the description box of this video i have a message please spread that if you're gonna email it print it out post around your city anything you can as even if that's gonna save one soul from hell if it's not gonna save a soul from hell so be it at least you tried but even if it is it's gonna be worth your time and thank you for listening all glory to god because all glory belongs to him